Okay, we're going to make a very simple aeroplane here. Um, I've only got 10 minutes, so uh, yeah, it's really about the, the process of making it and the tools you'll need to learn, uh, uh, the tools you're going to need to use to, to make it. Uh, first up, I'm just going to uh, hide my my, my uh, images just on the uh, perspective camera just looks a little bit cleaner now I'm going to start with my front now the tool I'm going to use is this one up here my uh, polygon look if you don't see those uh, have a look here make sure that you've got your uh, shelf tabs uh, ticked and you've got your in uh, polygons all right, so I'm just going to click my um, cylinder and just go to the middle, click once. All right, just get the basic shape. <coughs> now I'm going to go to my uh, my top view and click down. I might just go to six, just so I can see how it's uh, how it's looking. All right, <coughs> there we go. Quite simple. Uh, just bring that up. All right, down to about here. All right, just to scale it down a bit. All right, cool. All right, look, this is just going to be a very quick and simple one. Now, <clears throat> this is just way too complicated here, so I just want to reduce the number of planes. And to do that, <clears throat> going to make sure that I'm in my uh, my channels view. All right, and I'll just go down to poly cylinder, and I'm just going to give myself say eight uh, faces, and there we go. All right, that's pretty good. Now, I'm just going to get my vertex. All right, and select them, and press R to scale and just scale them in like that. All right, so there's my first shape. All right, there it is there. All right, now, next thing I'm gonna do, I'll go back to object mode. Now I'm gonna delete a lot of these faces. All right, because I just, well, again, just try to keep it simple. Click and drag and delete. All right, and I'm just going to delete these here and the back ones. All right, so that's just going to leave me with this type of shape just uh, here. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm just going to extrude all of that. All right, so let's go over and I'm going to select my edge. Okay, shift select all four. And I'm now just going to extrude. There we go. And press my global. And just push up. All right, just go to the start of the wing. <clears throat> extrude again. Press my global. And this time I might go to the end right, of my wing. All right, there we go. Extrude again, hit the global. Yeah. All right, let's have a look again. Yeah. Okay, start again. <coughs> Extrude, hit the global, push down. There's the start of the, um, the tail and extrude use the global and there I go. All right, now look, I'm just, again, I'm just being very, very uh, quick here, just to give you an idea. And <clears throat> there's our basic uh, fuselage of the, uh, of the plane. All right, now we'll go to the, uh, to the wing, go to face, all right, and select on it. <clears throat> like so, and again, 
press extrude, hit the global, right, make sure that you go out. Right, and there we go, we can just push it out. And let's just say bring it over. All right, scale it in a bit. All right, let's play around. Could do more now. Okay, to get that to get that all nice and straight, just hit one of the uh, scales and just zoom it in, so it becomes nice and straight. All right, look, maybe let's make it a bit smaller as well. All right. There we go. Now, um, all right. I'll do the uh, the back here. Extrude. Use the extrude like so. All right. Again, use my scale just to bring it down, make it all nice and equal. All right. Now, there's a bit more I can do, but I don't really have the time. Really what I want to show you next is this. Let's just delete this section here. Alright. There's our say plane. Now look, I'll just extrude. No, I won't do anything just at the moment. Object mode. <coughs> here it is. Now what we want to do is we want to uh, flip that over. Alright. So what I'm going to do is edit, duplicate, special, all right? There it is, duplicate, special, and we hit the options box. And here it is, again, X, Y, Z. I want to scale minus one, all right? Hit duplicate, special, there it is, all right? So We've been able to, to copy it over. Now I need to shift select both. All right, again, make sure you're in the polygons here. And mesh combine. All right, that turns that <coughs> into the one shape. Now, if I hit my subdivisions, that again. If I hit my subdivisions, all right, subdivisions three, all right, you can see it's not really looking that nice in the middle. I've got some rather unattractive uh, edges happening. All right, what I need to do, okay, I'm going to hide this camera. What I'm going to do is select my vertex and I'm just going to select all my vertexes on the uh, down the middle. All right, now I should have display, heads up display, and poly count selected. All right, that gives me these up here. Should they give me the number of vertexes? All right. You see, I've just been able to select them all along that line. Now I'm going to edit mesh and merge. Okay, press the options box. Threshold, that's quite good for when they're, um, you know, when they should be right on top of each other. We hit merge, and now you'll see that my edges have gone down to 14. And I'm getting a much smoother looking airplane. All right, it's all pretty awful. Let's go back to object mode. Head at mesh, insert edges. All right, there we go. I'll just put some edges on my uh, tips. All right, there we go, sharpens it up. Now, <clears throat> the last thing I want to do, let's select uh, over down here. Let's go to edges. One, two, three. 
Alright, we've got all our edges selected. Now we just go mesh, fill hole. Alright, there we go. <coughs> we've selected the hole, and there we go. Alright, there's a mesh, it's an edge. There you go. You can do a lot more, but uh, time's run out. Uh, there we go. Pretty ugly plane, but the uh, technique is there to do it.